Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18 which came out recently and it actually came out today and this is the latest version of Minecraft Java Edition, this is version 1.18 and I'm going to show you guys the best settings to use for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18 to get the most possible FPS out of your game and hopefully this should give you a nice FPS performance boost in your Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18. Okay so I recently downloaded the latest release of Minecraft Java Edition. As you guys can see in the top left corner there on my screen, it does say Minecraft Java 1.18. And if I use the console, you can see at the top left there, it does say Minecraft 1.18. And this is the vanilla official release of Minecraft Java Edition. Another piece of good news is that it actually uses Java 17.0.1. As you guys can see at the top right corner there, it does say Java 17.0.1. So I am happy about that. Okay, so let's go back into the game. I'm going to show you guys how to boost your FPS and this is your default vanilla game I'm not going to be using any mods or anything I'm basically going to be tweaking a few of the settings and hopefully this is going to allow us to get the best Minecraft settings for more FPS for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18. Okay, so first of all, I'm actually going to reset all of my options and then I'm going to jump back into the game and I'm going to start tweaking the settings. I'm going to show you guys what FPS I get as a base and then after I've changed the settings and tweaked them around a bit, then you can see how much of an FPS performance boost I can get with the new best Minecraft settings for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18. So let me just exit out of this. Let me quit. Let's go into the new Minecraft launcher. For those of you who are using the old launcher or the new launcher it doesn't actually matter it's basically going to be the same game so you don't have to worry if you guys are using the old launcher at all or the new minecraft launcher okay so as you guys can see it does say latest release version 1.18 i'm going to click on installations over here i'm going to highlight where it says latest release i'm going to click on this folder icon like so this is going to open up my minecraft default directory and i'm actually going to delete this options.txt file and this is basically going to reset all of my settings which i had before and use the default option for Minecraft Java Edition 1.18. So let me click on this options.txt file and hit the delete key on my keyboard. And as you guys can see, it's now been deleted. So I can actually close down this window. And now I can actually click on play where it says latest release. And hopefully this is basically going to reset everything to the default settings. And then I'm actually going to jump inside the game. I'm going to have a look at my FPS and see how the settings are and how the FPS is doing on the base settings, on the default settings. And then we can tweak them around a bit and see if we can actually get any more performance boost and any more FPS increases. So let me just maximize this window now and let's go into our options, click on video settings. And as you guys can see, these are pretty much the default settings, what we would expect. So if you guys are installing Minecraft for the very first time, this is what you can see what the default settings are going to be. So let me go into a game now. Let me click on single player. Let me go inside this world, which I created earlier. Okay, so by default, the vSync option looks like it has been enabled. So let me go ahead and disable vSync first of all. And let me also make the max frame rate unlimited. So by default, it does actually set it to 120 FPS. So I'm actually going to change that to unlimited so I can see what maximum FPS I can get inside my game. So let me just go back inside my game. As you guys can see, these are the default settings and I am getting close to 300, 290 to 300 FPS there. And it's also jumping to 400 FPS. So let's just actually say this is on average 350 FPS, which I'm getting inside my game. And these are the default settings. Now we can actually start to change a few of the settings around and see whether we can get some more FPS performance boost in version 1.18. All right, so let me go back into the options there. All right, so let's start off with the video settings first of all. I'm going to click on video settings over here and we're going to work our way down and we're going to tweak some of these settings to hopefully give us more FPS. So as you guys saw earlier, I was getting 350 FPS on average, dipping close to 280 and actually going up to 400. But on average, we can just say we are getting 350 FPS. So the very first thing I would actually do is to turn down this uh, biome blend setting. So as you guys can see at the moment, it is on 5x5, five five, which is normal. If I was to take the slider and move it all the way to the left, you guys can see it does say biome blend off and it does say fastest. So let's leave it at that. And same for the graphics, let's turn that down to the lowest so we can actually change that to fast. You just click into that button there and it should say fast. Okay, now for the render distance, I like to play on six. I know some of you guys actually like to play on eight, but I think six is a nice 
sweet spot for that FPS performance boost and we can actually see further ahead as well. So on my system, whenever I play on six tongues, I can actually see further ahead and I can act at the same time get some nice FPS as well. So let's just leave that at six. Now, some of you might also notice that we do have this simulation distance here. Now, because we have changed our render distance to six, I haven't actually noticed much of a difference in FPS when I was playing around with the simulation distance. However, having said that, let's go ahead and change that to the lower setting, which is five chunks. Now, some of you guys might actually not want that five chunk setting. You might actually want to play it on 12 chunks, which is the default. That's perfectly fine and you can increase it. But for now, let's go ahead and change that to five chunks. And as you guys have noticed, we're going to be moving down and changing the settings to the lowest possible option there and then hopefully that should give us more fps okay so for the chunk builder now this is another new option which i did notice and after a few of the different tests which i did i have noticed that if we go to fully blocking it does actually give me low fps so i've actually decided to go ahead and leave that as a default which is the threaded option so for chunk builder we're going to leave that on the threaded option there as you guys can see it says nearby chunks are compiled in parallel threads this may result in brief visual holes when blocks are destroyed. So let's go ahead and leave the chunk builder option as the threaded option there. Okay, so for the smooth lighting, I am actually going to leave that on maximum. I have not noticed any of the performance increase or decrease from the smooth lighting. So I'm going to leave that as the maximum there. And for the max frame rate, as you guys saw earlier, I did change that to the unlimited setting and I did turn off the V sync as well. For the view bobbing, we can leave that on. It doesn't really matter. And same for the GUI scale, we can leave that as auto as well. Attack indicator again, we can leave that as crosshair it doesn't really matter whether you select the crosshair hotbar i'm going to leave that on the default setting for now for the brightness as you guys can see it does actually say default but just for testing purposes i am actually going to turn that down to moody and see how that performs to be honest i have not noticed much of an fps increase or decrease by changing the brightness at all so on my system i also have not noticed anything to do with the brightness if i was to change this to bright or moody so for this example i'm going to change that to moody for the clouds I have actually gone ahead and changed that to off. Now, some of you might not like to play with the clouds turned off and you might like to play it with far setting or fancy, but for now, let's go ahead and change the clouds to off. I have found that turning the clouds to the off setting does actually give us some nice FPS boost as well. For the full screen, we're going to come back to that later on and I'm going to discuss the full screen option later on with you guys. So just wait for that to be discussed later on. So let's move on to the particles now. Let's go ahead and change the particles to the lowest possible setting, which is minimal. So as you guys can see, I've now changed the particles option to minimal. And now we're going to change the MIP map levels as well. I'm going to take the slider and move this all the way to the left and make the MIP map levels to off. Entity shadows as well. Let's go ahead and turn those off as well. Distortion effects. Now we can go ahead and change the slider all the way to the left to make that off. Entity distance, I'm going to change that to 50%, hopefully give us some more FPS and the FOV effects as well. I'm going to change that to off as well. Now we do have another option here. Some of you might have noticed this is a new option that has popped up here. Auto save indicator. I'm actually going to change that to off because we don't actually want anything to be popping up on our screen there. So these are the video settings. As you guys can see, I've actually gone ahead and changed all of the sliders apart from max frame rate to the left hand side to make everything turned off and put everything on the minimal possible setting apart from the smooth lighting which I have actually left as maximum and the chunk builder which I have left as threaded as well so let's click on done and let's just wait for that to actually load the settings there let's click on done again and now we can actually go back inside our game and as you guys can see I'm now getting close to 900 fps just by those few different tweaks which we just did there and before we were getting 350 fps but with those tweaks i am now getting close to 800 to 900 fps which is really cool so if you guys are getting low fps on your default settings these are the settings i would highly recommend that you guys do so and to summarize we basically turned everything on the lower setting and moved all of the sliders to the left apart from the smooth lighting the chunk builder and also the max frame rate which has been turned to unlimited as well so these are the settings which i like to use for my video settings to give me some nice fps boosts inside my game on version 1.18 all right so we can actually go a step further and try and get some more fps as well apart from what we've managed to get just by changing the video settings so let's click on done the next setting which we're going to change is the fov so by default this is 
set to 70 as you guys can see some people like to play on quake pro mode and some people like to play on the default and some people like to play on a low fov now let me quickly change it to normal and let's have a look at our fps as you guys can see my fps is somewhere close to 950 930 fps there now let me go ahead and change the fov to quake pro mode and just have a look at my fps it has actually dropped so as you guys can see from 950 i am now getting 890 so just by changing my fov that's giving me a decrease in my fps so the higher the fov the lower fps we will get so let's go back into options let me turn it down to normal again and let's have a look at our fps and as you guys can see i'm now getting a thousand fps now we can actually go a step further and i like to actually turn this down to 60 because i do think 60 is nice and playable and it's not too low where everything is zoomed in that much and that does actually give us some nice fps boosts in our game so you guys can see i'm now touching a thousand fps there just by changing my fov like i showed earlier so if you guys do like to play on a higher fov you should consider actually turning that down so you should be able to get some nice fps in your game as well okay so i did mention about playing in full screen earlier and one thing I have noticed is that if you do play in full screen it does actually give me personally some better FPS than like if I was playing in windowed mode. Now just to make you aware that this option might not be suitable for everyone some of you might get better FPS in windowed mode so it's all down to what your computer hardware is like and what the game performs like on your computer system. So I'm now going to press F11 so as you guys can see I am getting 1020 FPS on average there i'm going to press f11 on my keyboard and let's have a look at what kind of fps i can get in my full screen mode as you guys can see i'm now getting 1140 fps there just by entering full screen mode so you can get that extra boost in fps if you were to enter full screen mode so if you guys are on a windowed mode in minecraft java edition version 1.18 then i would recommend that you switch to a full screen mode as opposed to a windowed mode option there so you guys can see that we are getting some nice fps and we have managed to cross the 1000 fps mark all right let me just go ahead and change the weather here quickly and the time of day as well all right let's go back into our options some other things can be changed as well and these things are completely optional now you guys don't have to do this but these are some of the things which i like to do if we go into accessibility settings there we can actually go ahead and enable the monochrome logo which basically changes the loading menu color there. So by default, it's a red background with white text, and this is going to make everything black and white. So this is completely optional. You guys don't have to do this, but this is what I like to play with when I like to play the game, and I like to use a lot of different resource packs or texture packs. All right, so let's go back into the options there. Now, if you go into controls, you will notice that some of the buttons have changed around there. So for mouse settings, obviously we can go into this section here, and then for the key binds we can click on this now by default the cinematic camera is not actually assigned so i'm going to go ahead and assign a cinematic camera key there so we can use that to record some nice shader packs videos as well let's go back into our menu there and if i click on chat settings another option which you can enable is this one here which says reduced debug info now one thing i would recommend if you guys are using the f3 button there to check your fps don't do that because that is not actually going to give you the correct fps in your game so if you guys are using f3 to check your fps that's not the true representation of your fps so let me quickly show you guys what i mean by that let me just come back to this setting quickly let me go into my game so as you guys can see i'm getting about a thousand fps there 900 fps on average now if i was to press f3 on my keyboard just have a look at the fps there i have actually dropped to 370 fps which is completely crazy and as you guys can see in the top right corner there i am getting 360 370 fps which is on the fraps application so if you guys are looking to check out your fps i would recommend that you guys use this other application and i will leave some information in the description on how you can do that so i would not actually recommend using this debug console to check out your fps i do know that some people do like to use this to check their fps but that does not represent the true value of our fps now let me press f3 on my keyboard again and as you guys can see my fps has actually shot up back to 1100 let's go back into our options if we were to actually turn on this option which is reduced debug info it still would not make much of a difference however you can see a bit of 
FPS increase because it would actually get rid of some of the other extra information there. But if I was to press F3 now, as you guys can see, it's still not showing me 1000 fps or 1100 fps which i was getting earlier but it is actually higher than 300 fps so again if you guys are using that option don't use the f3 console button there to check your fps always make sure that you are using an external program to check your fps because that is actually going to give you a true representation of your fps inside your game as opposed to the f3 console button there all right so let's go back into our options now you can also go ahead and change the font if you guys want to use the unicode font like so we can go ahead and do that i know some of you like to play with different fonts so if you guys are looking to change the font in the game we can click on language and we can click on this button here that says force unicode font and leave that to on as well and if we go back into our chat settings you can actually go ahead and change a few of the different settings here some of the options you can change here and again these are completely optional we can change the colors to off change the width to something like 160 put the focus height let's go and change that to 100 like so and as you guys can see these are some of the other optional settings which would not actually affect your fps at all but these are some of the settings which i like to play with when i'm playing my personal games and if we go into music and sound obviously we can change some of the settings here as well and can actually choose the default device there so as you guys can see at the moment it says system default and if i was to click on that i can actually choose different options there for my device on where i want the volume to come out of one final thing to know that if you click on resource packs there is a resource pack that actually comes with the game which you can actually enable so as you guys can see it says available programmer art the classic look of minecraft and it says built in but we can actually move this across to where it says selected and just notice that when i highlight one of these buttons notice the color there it actually highlights it with a white outline as you guys can see now i'm going to click on done and as you guys can see because i changed the logo there it is now a black and white screen but now when i highlight a button you guys can see instead of having a white outline it has changed it to a blue background there so this is actually one of the resource packs that comes with the game and you can go ahead and enable that just to check it out if you guys are bored with the default game settings there and as you guys can see i am now getting some nice fps and this is all thanks to the main culprit in the options menu which is the video settings and i've gone ahead and changed everything to the lower settings there so if you guys are looking for the best settings for Minecraft the Java Edition version 1.18, I would actually go ahead and start with the video settings and try and turn down your settings. If you guys have missed some of those settings, again, you can just rewatch the video. I'll try and leave a few different timestamps as well so you guys can have a look on what settings that need to be changed. And hopefully this should be able to give you guys some nice FPS boost in your game if you guys have enjoyed the video please do give us a like and if you have any comments or queries about the best settings for minecraft java edition on version 1.18 then do leave them in the comment section below i will do my best to try and help you guys out and also do let me know if you guys did receive any fps performance boosts in your game after applying these settings what kind of fps do you get in your normal vanilla game on the default options and what kind of fps did you get after applying these settings it would be interesting to see what the differences for you guys and also please do subscribe to the channel to help support to help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching